Mojoholics. Welcome to Watch Mojo FAQ episode 19, if you can believe it. Welcome, Ash. Hey there, how are you? Hey, guys. Okay, so today you wanted to talk about the future direction of these shows and to chat about the new video game show. So let's dive right in. Why did we start doing Watch Mojo FAQ and What's Your Mojo? Okay, it's a great question. So let's rewind back to November 2013. We had grown from 100,000 subs to a million. It was a fantastic growth spurt. And we were chatting with our partners over at YouTube and they said, you guys are basically doing everything really, really well, except for a few things. And I was like, well, what are those things? And they said, one, you're not really engaging or cross-promoting other YouTubers. I said, accurate, correct. Then they said, two, you need to do a better job of putting a face on the channel. I said, correct. Um, and then the third one, they said, you, gotta, you could definitely do a better job engaging and communicating with the community, even though we were replying to a lot of comments. Right. And to address the first uh, item, we launched Topics, which showcases the most successful channels on YouTube. Exactly. Um, and then for the second and third items, I mean, initially, that's why you and Dan started doing those public service announcements when we were launching T-shirts or launching a new like suggestion tool. Um, and then at some point when the suggestion tool took off, it made sense to launch What's Your Mojo, which initially Initially, what I call season one was when Emily was hosting, um, and then when Emily left, we kind of like re rejigged that, and what I call season two was when you and Dan took over What's Your Mojo. Right. I always called it season one, but anyway. And then we used uh, the What's Your Mojo show to also include trivia and in this day in video and in case you missed it and giveaways and all that great stuff. Yeah, so that was the idea. When Emily left, we kind of said, okay, we're not going to do the exact same thing. Let's modify it. And we were promoting a lot of things. You know, our this day in video concept or, or calendar is like, you know, for November 22nd, we'll have 10 videos pertaining to that day, a few of which may be the assassination of JFK, conspiracy theories, the Kennedy curse, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but now if you fast forward, as we're winding down 2014, we've had another awesome year. We're going to be at 6 million subs soon. So if you just think about that, we went from 100,000 subs to a million throughout 2013. And then throughout 2014, we went from a million to 6 million. That's kind of insane. So we're at a crossroads, and we want to um, possibly rejig the formula. The takeaway is that within the What's Your Mojo uh, show, Definitely the suggestions when we ask you like, hey, we're working on these four p potential lists. What do you think? Should we do them? Should we not? What should make the list? That's really the core of what we want to kind of carve out and put a better spotlight on. But then the other uh, takeaway is that the trivia component could actually uh, become the springboard for a possible game show, which is something that we've started to work on. Jeez. Actually, we'll be crossing 6 million subs sometime between now and Monday. So we wanted to thank you guys for that. Yeah, I mean, that's just unbelievable, right? And we're very proud of that. But, you know, when we look at, you know, let's say most of you love our videos and the feedback's overwhelmingly 90% plus our likes. But once in a while, we'll see on Twitter or on, on YouTube someone say, oh, my God, you guys suck. This list doesn't make sense. And, you know, I or someone else will actually reply saying, okay, use the suggestion tool, become an insider, make the list better. And then nine times out of ten, people are like, wow, that's really a thing. We, could, we didn't know that was actually how a big part of the recipe. Um, you know, our editorial has changed, right? I mean, we went from doing how-tos to interviews to bios and profiles, and now mainly top ten sprinkled with a little bit of verses um, uh, and, and origins. Uh, but our style as well has changed, where today it's a lot of B-roll with voiceover. So again, the What's Your Mojo and What's Mojo FAQ, it's to kind of show you um, you know, behind the scenes making of the videos in more of a talk show format. Okay, uh, so what is the plan for 2015 in terms of Watch Mojo FAQ and What's Your Mojo? Okay, so honestly, I don't know. It's early, uh, you know, we're gonna finish the year, we're gonna take a little vacation, drink a couple dozen margaritas and sit on a beach. Um, and frankly, we're gonna ask you guys, um, you know, I've not made any decision. I think most people, most entrepreneurs, most executives, most human beings, we end up listening to our gut. But the smart people actually do take in a lot of feedback and, and get some input. Right, so I smell a poll. Yes, we like, we like polls. So basically one option, frankly, is the status quo. You bring back What's Your Mojo, and you bring back what's, what's, uh, Watch Mojo FAQ. The other option is to say, okay, if we know we're gonna carve out the trivia component and eventually launch some kind of game show, which we are planning to, and then you are left with What's Your Mojo, and we know the key meat there is the suggestions, the other thing would be to basically just merge this show, the FAQ, with the suggestions and kind of have one complete, um, you know, the making of our videos explaining how Watch Mojo operates. Um, and then that would also free up some of your time to work on the game show. I do like trivia. That's it. So what we want to know is the first poll involves these two shows. It's what do you think of the shows? What are the 
components that you like and whether you think we should bring in back status quo or basically merge them. Um, that's the idea. Right. And people have been waiting for weeks to hear the answer to this question. What about the video game show? What's the deal? Yeah, right. So, I mean, I know that we launched topics and the Watch Mojo News series, and we, we like them a lot. You guys seem to like them a lot. Um, but if we were to really hold like a straight up popularity contest, and Watch Mojo is not just a popularity contest, despite what some of you critics uh, might say. But if we were to have a popularity contest, you guys would say video games. We want a video game show, a series, um, or, or whatnot. Right, like reviews or let's play kind of content? Yeah, I mean, you know, exactly. But the, the truth is we're not sure that the YouTube needs another Let's Play channel or video game review uh, show the same way that I don't think YouTube needs another vlogger, although we realize that's a big part of the component. Um, so I think, yeah, the idea would be that what we want to do is say, look, when you watch, like, when you take a look at sports, for example, you'll have a million people who will tune in and watch the actual match. But you're going to get 100,000, 200,000 who will tune in then and watch a talk show or a show with a bunch of guys sitting around talking about it. So what we want to do, where we're kind of planning now, is we want to take the core of what makes our channel so amazing that you guys basically say is your favorite part, which is the top 10 lists, and basically, for lack of a better word, deconstruct that uh, so that a much higher percentage tune into that show than they do to these shows, basically. Um, so the second poll has to do with that. We want to know what are the elements of the video game show that you love most, so that when we do launch it, all that effort, sweat, pain, tears, and blood that goes into it, um, we produce the best show that is as good, as awesome, if not better, and more popular than all of the top tens that we make. All right, so that is episode 19 in the can. Next week is the last show of Watch Mojo FAQ season one. So what do we, uh, what do we got on deck? Well, since it's the last one, and last year we did the memorable clips of 2014 by, uh, 13 by Watch Mojo, where we kind of, we didn't sit around applause and pat ourselves on the back. We actually kind of made fun of ourselves. We looked at, you know, it was good, bad, ugly videos of the year. So we looked at one or two very popular videos that you guys like, but we really spent like the bulk of the video making fun of ourselves with either straight up mistakes or a lot of like calls that we made in terms of our research that then a few vocal you know minority audience members kind of chimed in and said you guys are crazy so it's more of a self-deprecating look at you know what made us good but also what made you guys say man that just doesn't make any sense right the self-deprecating humor is in full effect thank you guys for watching see you next week mm -hmm.